Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're in Edinburgh, Scotland for the start of the 2023 Gumball 3000. <laughs> This is my movie of the adventure. Six cars over six days. Team 150, Shmi 150. You can see the grid lined up behind me. It's all about to get underway as we go from Edinburgh all the way to Montenegro. We've got some amazing stops ahead of us. This is going to be the most epic of rallies. Our logistics have been crazy, but as you can hear, the bagpipes are blasting. This is the start line, but I need to take you back a few days to our preparations to get ready for what is going to be the rally of my life. Let's talk about the cars for this year's Gumball 3000 Team 150 because I have made this about as complicated for myself as I possibly could in what I believe is a first. We have six different driving days on the route from Edinburgh to Montenegro. Behind me, we have six of the Schmimobiles all stickered up and ready. Now, when I announced I was going to be taking part in this route, I revealed the AMG GT Black Series, but I said, that wasn't going to be the full story. In fact, we're up in Edinburgh with the Zenvo TSRS to drive across the start line, in fact, for the whole of day one, from Scotland down via the checkpoint at Ripley Castle in York onwards to London. But between the start and the end, we've got a lot of other things going on. We're joined the full way through by our support vehicle, the Ford Transit Custom MSRT. But in London, we're going to be changing from the Zenvo into my SLS AMG Black Series. Now, I actually bought this car to take on Gumball back in 2020, when of course everything was postponed, but it's going to be doing its first Gumball on the drive as we go from London across the Eurotunnel via a checkpoint in Bruges and onwards to Amsterdam. When we leave from the Netherlands though, day three, the third car Car, my Lamborghini Huracan STO in the bright Viola Bast. We're going to be heading to the Alps, to Switzerland, up to the ski resort town of Verbier. This is going to be amazing on those mountain roads. But then day four, we're heading all the way through Italy to Venice in my McLaren 675 LT Spider, Roof down in the Italian sunshine, a perfect car for the occasion. I think that's gonna be a good fun drive, but it doesn't end there because once we've departed Venice after the masquerade ball, my Ferrari SF90 Stradale is at the ready. The 1000 horsepower hybrid Ferrari for the drive via Ljubljana Castle in Slovenia, onwards towards Budapest in Hungary, where for the final day, day six of the rally, the AMG GT Black Series is going to be involved as we go down to the Croatian coast with a checkpoint in Split and onwards towards the finish line in Porto Montenegro. Six Schmimobiles joined by the support vehicle for the most complicated logistics exercise that I've ever tried to plan. We're here at the Schmuseum ahead of time with all of the cars stickered up and ready for what I hope is going to be a successful journey with them all as we head on the European tour. Let's meet the team. Joining me will be Puppy 150. We will, of course, be Team 150, jumping between the six different Schmimobiles. Of course, filming the videos, making it all hopefully work together quite well. Puppy 150 has been behind all of the designs, all of the plans, lots of different things involved. But let's also go meet the others. On camera and helping with the editing, we have Brad. And I'm going to be piloting this with a co-driver. What a way to do my first Gumball 3000 in this. In the support vehicle, making sure we get where we need to go bringing all of the luggage, responsible for probably far more than you ever expected for rally number one. And hopefully figuring out a way to get to all of the grids in this alongside you and whatever else. And whichever car we're in and wherever they're going to end up, it's going to be chaotic, but gumball number one for Brad. Also joining Brad on his first Gumball 3000 piloting the MSRT Transit, we have photographer Supremo Owen. And it's my first time abroad as well. And what a way to do it. Gumball in the pink transit, hanging out the window as well with the camera. I'm looking forward to the shots. It wouldn't be a Gumball without Tony, Mr. Turbo Transport. No, it wouldn't. I actually met Tim on Gumball 3000. My first rally was in 2015, and I've been doing it ever since. And I think without you, this wouldn't all happen right now because the logistics task ahead is falling on your hands. Yes, it is. So I'm in charge of taking every single car, except for the team van, on the, on the grid, at each grid, which I can't wait. You're going to be flying ahead of us grabbing the keys, picking up the cars, making sure they're in the right place, and also taking back the previous cars. Yes. The logistics behind all of this is absurd, but you're in charge. Can't wait. It's in safe hands. Yes. <laughs> oh. 
Off it goes, locked and loaded. The same trailer that's brought it a few times from Denmark to the UK. Safe hands, onwards to Scotland. We're starting to prepare the other cars. SF90 out first so we can pull down the LT, get the STO ready, just popping all of the documents, windscreen mounts, USB cables, all of that kind of stuff into each of the various cars. We're gonna line these up. It will be GT Black Series first as that's going to be the last out given it's going all the way to Budapest. And this is how it's all going to happen. Unique are here with their fairly unique trailer setup. We've got the two compartments. Obviously cars go in the opposite order. So the one for Budapest goes in first and then reversing from there. But I did a post on social media. I've actually known the Unique team for a fair while. They reached out and said, we're up for this challenge. And here we are. We've got the full transporter ready to get loaded. GT Black Series in first, strap them all down. And this is going to be taking all the cars over and then in Budapest, obviously when we start the last leg, swapping around and coming back again with everything. It's time for the last one. The white stickers work very well with the white accents that we have on the STO. As that heads on in. I would be lying if I said this wasn't just a little bit surreal to know that four of the Schmimobiles are about to embark on the most insane journey across Europe. The planning for all of this, the logistics, the organization has been totally out of this world but it feels like it's all coming together. All the dots are being joined. All of the I's are being dotted. The T's are being crossed. It's working out. This is our team car. We use it for all sorts of errand running. It's the Ford Transit Custom MSRT, wide body, big wheels, white wheels, white and pink. This is actually painted. This is called Telemagenta, this paint color. It is not a hot pink wrap, but we have added the livery, the support vehicle, Gumball 3000, massive round wheels on the side, and we have the Gumball Racing Team stripes, but as well as having a row of three up front and a row of three in the middle, so we can take six people in one vehicle, we also have a ton of space, which for a road trip like this, we're gonna be needing. This van is driving to Edinburgh. It's driving the 3000 miles of the rally, and then in Montenegro, it's turning around and driving back home. That's over 5,000 miles as such in here. Let me show you quickly what we've already put in. We've got some spare wheels and tires. You never know what might happen. We've got a trolley jack. We've got some tools. We've actually got a box of our DeWalt tools along with some batteries, the CS3 in case we ever have any battery issues, ratchet straps, basically everything that could possibly be required. We're on the move. We're driving up the M1. We've got many, many hours of M1 to the north in front of us. In fact, the north quite literally as we head all the way through England and then a little bit in Scotland up to Edinburgh. This is about to be really cool because we've got a chrome tanker here. Check this out. Check out the reflection. Look at that bright pink in all its glory. Welcome to Scotland, the start country of the Gumball 3000. Okay, this is cool. We're in Edinburgh, obviously up on the hill. We're actually gonna be going to the castle, I believe, but for the time being, taking in the view, figuring out how to get through the town and probably around whatever this is diverting us around. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit colder up here than it was earlier on, but I think we're gonna win some kind of prize for being keen bees. We must be the first Gumball 3000 people to be here in Edinburgh. No cars in the garage, no cars at the hotel, and we're here with our support vehicle after a very successful drive. Although I tell you what, those are gonna need a proper scrub. Those are absolutely filthy. We're bug splattered all over as well, but it's been a comfortable ride. It's what this thing is for. We've got all of our luggage up here and basically ready for the fun ahead. Well, look at this. Views on views, as my friend the Stradman would say. Check this out. As we head through the rolling hills up towards the Cairngorm, it's not too far to go now. All enjoying the ferocity <laughs> of the Lamborghini Countach. This is a good day. We have arrived at the Glenshi Ski Center. I've been up here a few times before as well, including the first time I drove a new Ford GT because there is Mr. Turbo Transport 
with the trailer. Let's go get that opened up. Three, two, one. For Gumball 2023, the Zenvo is here for the start line. My Zenvo TSRS fully stickered up. Team 150 ready to be unloaded for a little bit of a drive. Check this out. Fully stick it up, fully ready. No Zenvo has ever been on the Gumball 3000 before. This will be the car for the start. But let's get this out. Let's get ready for a bit of a drive. While we are about to unload the Zenvo to film a little video, Brad is meanwhile working over here on the van. This is the first vehicle we've had to work on on the trip so far. And it's before Gumball's actually even started. We found a rear mud flap that basically popped off of one of the screws which has meant it's rubbed through a little bit of it on the plastic um, with a tire. So I'll pop the screw out and back in. Hopefully that holds. If not, we'll have to get a washer and pop it on and put it back together. So first fix of the rally on the support <laughs> vehicle that's meant to be there to fix other things if needed. Nah, it's no big deal. It'll be fixed nice and easily. I'm ready to go again in a second. It is time then to get this started. Let's fire it up. <laughs> like this is just so fast that arguably these kind of roads are just not suited to using anything near what it's capable of but this is such a cool place to be right now with this this is so cool what a spot to stop to take some photos look at this on the bridge with those views in that direction the car right here very few cars out on the road to be completely honest and the Zenvo, the Zenvo back in action. Brad found the scooter that we have in the van. He's currently scooting through the Cangorms. Bunny hop. <laughs> Normal things, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, normal stuff. This is probably driving an uninsured illegal vehicle on the road. story here we have the canadian team skookum 812 superfast that's been living at the Schmuseum, and i have the key for it we're going to drive this down to the main gumball parking to go and get it prepped with all of the others which means a cold start of a ferrari v12 let me hop in and let's get this started because this is always a lovely lovely thing team 42 this car now here for its fifth gumball rally which is crazy the very same car every time you step in here, foot on the brake, press the big red button. Oh yeah! This is an army of Lambos, all matching. SVJ, Urus, the STO, and of course, our first hypercar we could say at the rally, the Bugatti Chiron Sport, all from Germany. And then we've got our collector with the Hurricane Spider, We've got another Urus and we've got a Ferrari Aroma over the side as well. It's reveal time, the day before registration. The trailer is behind us and there are a lot of people here because we have mentioned that we're going to be showing the car that will be part of this Gumball 3000 plan. So of course, we've got the van here. Gumballers are arriving. The atmosphere is already amazing, but we need to get this opened up. A bit of a surprise. I don't think everybody necessarily has a clue what's going to be inside. We're going to find out in a moment. I think we should go and ask some people. We need to find out, guys, what you think is in here. That's the first, like... Ferrari of some sort. A Ferrari of some sort? Yeah. Three Mini Coopers. You... Classic. Sorry? Three classic Mini Coopers. Three classic Mini Coopers. <laughs> could you imagine? We've had people suggesting online that it could be a brand new car. That's never been we seen reckon before. you're walking. No one's walked the Gumball 3000 before. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? A lot of people have suggested doing it in a three-wheeler. And actually, my first Gumball was in 2012. And Charles Morgan and his wife drove a Morgan three-wheeler. The entire way? The entire way. Including through Death Valley in Nevada in the middle of summer. Like 50 degrees. That must be the yeah. only Morgan to ever be there. Yeah. Well, there have been a few of the more traditional Morgans. But the only three-wheeler. I need to ask you guys for some guesses of what's in there. Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari? That side said a Ferrari of some sort as well. So we've had guesses of Ferrari, Lamborghini, a new car, a three-wheeler, various of my different cars. And we're now going to block the road. Sorry, traffic. <laughs> Wait, are we doing this? 
Wait, what do we have to do? <laughs> oh, it's still locked. He it. played a trick on me. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Zambo made it to Edinburgh. This is part of the plan. Part of the plan. But let's get the Zembo unloaded. Let's get it out. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Well, we've unloaded the car. I think a lot of people guessed that this was going to be here, but at this point, people don't know the full story. They know that the Zembo is here in Edinburgh, but not the rest of this. And that's what's going to be really fun to reveal soon. For now, though. Yeah, mega. Really, really, really cool to have it here. We are opening up the back of this to show people because the engine bay is really quite nice in here. So, let me come around because if you haven't seen this before in the Zembo, you basically press a button inside here and the entire rear clam opens. Check this out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so apparently, I'm with Owen at the moment. Uh, we've crashed a wedding. Over there somewhere is a wedding. I don't know where, that direction. And we're just here with everything. Chaos. That feeling when you come to an amazing place to get some photos and you're up here, you're on your own, and then it quickly becomes a bit of a car show. We've got the 812 Comp just here, 296, Chiron. In fact, my Zenvo and that Chiron have been in the same place before at SOC in Croatia. And then over this away, a little lineup of Lambos and other cars as well, all just admiring the views over towards the castles and the scenery of Edinburgh as the sun sets. As you do. As you may know, Mr. Gumball 3000 Max Cooper has been storing his Jaguar XJ220S, which is a legend of the Gumball Rally world, at the Schmuseum for the last year. He decided to take part with it this year with one of the sponsors, P1 Fuels, which is really quite exciting as well, and it's been transported up. This was the livery for an event where it was presenting this year's livery effectively. But basically, we need to get that down into the garage where all sorts of chaos has unleashed and we're gonna be heading down in just a moment. And it's not gonna be easy because this thing is very wide, very long, and has a ludicrously bad turning circle. Wish me luck. In the car then, all unstrapped. So the big question is, is this gonna start on the button? Let's give it a second, just wait for it. Yes, we're good to go. Let's get it unloaded. Well, we are in, we've done it. The XJ220S is here, ready to be stickered up. Max and Eve, team number seven. I grew up following Gumball with Max driving this. To see it back on the rally is the coolest thing you could imagine. I've definitely just blipped the alarm or something, I don't even know. But yeah, such a cool car. Now to get its full stickers ready for everything that's ahead of us. Yeah, Look who it is. Really interrupting, how you doing? I'm good, well, I'm stressed. You're stressed? I, I forgot to paint the car. <laughs> Have you finished the car? No, it's not really. <laughs> we, we was it, late nights at the unit trying to get it ready. It's got an oil leak, it's got a water leak, um, it's got a auxiliary belt which is about to fall off. Uh, the brakes barely work. We've had to put second hand brakes on it. Uh, we've got some wheels coming up to so we'll do a quick pit stop on the grid whilst we are uh, before the start line. But if it makes it over the start line, I'm happy. You're making life easy for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good luck. It is going to be stressed. So I'm going to follow the pink van because I know you've got tools in it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Here to save the day. Yeah, that's it. The way we're going to do this is to take the Zenvo up to the grid first. I hear it's madness out there. We'll drive this out of the garage, go line up, then go over to the gifting suite, to the registration, officially become gumballers. So yeah, let's pull the Zenvo out. That is Mark McCann with the SVJ. <laughs> Good to see you. This is stressful. It, that garage is stressful. Is it a bit tight? Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> I guess this is the commotion when people see the Zenvo coming. <laughs> we have people running down. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. I'm loving seeing some of the jackets and the gear for this year. 
seeing the theme, obviously the white with the red and blue stripes. <laughs> this is madness. This is absolute madness. Hi there. I'm sorting it. I think we've arrived at the grid. I think we've arrived. We're in. How you doing? Wow. It's gumball time. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Legend over there! <laughs> yeah, of course! I will sign your knob, that sounds weird. <laughs> this is a first. Anywhere in particular? Anywhere, mate. Let's go here, facing at the driver. That is the first time I've signed a gear knob. Thank you. It's got to be a first. Welcome to Scotland. Thank you, it's always fun to be up here. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Fist bump, fist bump, woo! Welcome to the registration area. This is at the Merchants Hall, a lovely building. We're gonna go straight through so I can show you this process. We've already been in, so we can kind of skip through, navigate in to the main hall. Step one, insurance, PK insurance. Gave you guys an absolute nightmare, I know, with all of the, literally the thickest of thick document piles to do all of this, to cover every day of the rally. Thank you very much. It's wristband time. This is it, this is always like the the big moment, the Gumball VIP wristband. We're in, we're on, Gumball VIP, that is where it begins. Tim, Shmi, number 150. There we go, we are in. We're on then, from uh, signing to whiskey. Vintage acquisitions is our sort of bread and butter business, so we trade cars as an investment um, with private individuals. From that, Vintage Bottlers was born, so we bottle um, really distinguished single casks as single malt here. Lovely. One of our releases. Um, this is a 29 year old Glen Livet. Next up, we must be at Hard Rock. Hello. How's it going? All good, yourself? Very good, very good. Hard Rock, obviously, key partner of the rally. So, with Hard Rock, obviously, we're here in Edinburgh, we've got to do the cap. The shirts too. We've got to do the Hard Rock Gumball shirt. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely. A large, I think, for me. We'll definitely do one of those. Hard Rock Gumball 3000. Looking forward to it. Right. Thank you very much, guys. This is the big bit, right? Yeah. Gumball swag. Yeah, Gumball swag. What do we have this year? I'm, I'm loving the, the styling. This is cool. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? All white, red and blue. So you get everything in the duffel bag. Yep. Uh, the cap, the sunglasses, the socks, um, and the fresh scent diffuser. Cool. Sounds um, good. The exciting moment of trying on a driver jacket for this year's rally. Alrighty, a little swap, all pack, no pre-packaged, ready it to go. Pre-packaged, ready to go. That makes it super easy. Pop the swag on the shoulder, and we're ready to rock and roll. We roll back over to Bobby White. Back in action, guys. You're good. Good, good to see you all. See you, okay? There's the Spirit of Gumballs for this year. These are so cool, aren't they? We've done blue sapphires, rubies, rose gold and white gold for this time. Matching the liveries of the cars. The uh, places where we're going on the tour, engraved around the ring. The coveted Spirit of Gumball yeah, ring. Of Gumball. Yeah, dog yeah. tags here, which are going to be given out in Montenegro. Okay, so when we make it to the finish line, if we make it to the finish line, we get to get our dog tags to go with the collection. I've got the one, of course, from Toronto to Miami and the Middle East, so rock and roll at the end of this year. Good to see you guys. Well, back out in the middle of the grid, taking a look at some of the other cars that are here that we've not really seen very much of yet. The Rolls, for example, Targa, Team Relic here. We've got this very, very bright orange, 812 GTS coming through. I'm gonna do my best to squeeze through the grid. We've got all of the cars lined up kind of like this, as you can see. Team Hella back. We've got a GT Black Series just here, a few STOs on the rally. We've got the DS1 collection, whose cars were actually sticking up in my garage, Team 102 and 105. We've got a Roma, Urus, DBS. Liking the Scottish theme of this, with the flag up on the roof, a couple of Range Rovers, squeezing on down, obviously lots of noise down there where the latest cars are arriving. GT3 RS, a Turbo S, very crazy wrap on that SLS, with the camo style, matching green trio, SVJ STO Urus just there. Then we've got the Bugatti Chiron right behind. If I squeeze through the middle, Team Skookum 812, the GT3 RS is just here. This is a bit of a weave and a wiggle down through the middle of the grid. SF90 AMG GTR, GT3, Portofino, 458 Spider, 
Hurricane Spider, AMG GTR, my Zenbo, of course, keep coming through. We've got the 812, yeah. Jordan, the legend. How are you doing? We got, we got one of these over already. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's what everyone's here for. Yes. <laughs> Max is Jag. Hey, guys. <laughs> Max's XJ220 is here. Look at this. Mark McCann is here as well with Rockbox, the world's dirtiest SVJ. Absolutely filthy. Roof box, loud exhaust. I don't know what's going on down there, but we've got the Kuntash, all sorts of mayhem. The other Kuntash, the Huayra, the Koenigseggs, all a little bit crazy, but let me try and squeeze through. Huayra with the doors up, the Koenigseggs that we've obviously got here. Cars supplies the Super Vitura. If we keep squeezing through, all sorts of crazy down here. Got the DDE SVJ. I don't know if the boys are around, I'm not sure, but the car is certainly sitting right here at the moment, um, getting quite the uh, attention. I still can't believe the weather that has come out for this, but we're registered. We've got our wristbands. Unfortunately, like last time, they ran out of loads of driver's gear. So hopefully, we're going to be able to pick some of that up along the route. But this is it. We're in Edinburgh. Every time Edinburgh has been the most mega reception. Look at the cars lined up here in George Street. Look at this lineup, the way everything is staggered in, all of the wraps, all of the liveries, all of the effort that gumballers have gone to. And this is before it's even begun. Tonight, we have the welcome. We've got a big dinner, in fact, up at the castle, I believe. And then we're going to be rolling out tomorrow morning. The complete start, all of the cars getting underway for this route down from Edinburgh to London to Amsterdam, to Verbier, to Venice, to Budapest, and on to Montenegro in less than a week's time. The opening evening's event up in Edinburgh Castle. We are surrounded by the stage being set up for an upcoming concert, but check this out. Heading in, the foundation grid is shortly to close. Let's go see what's going on inside. Bagpipes, of course. Wow. Incredible. Have a look at this then, up at the top. What a view over Edinburgh. Waverley Station, Princes Street, across the fourth to the other side. Stunning at sunset. This is crazy. We're now in the final stages of the Charity Foundation grid. Night has fallen here at the castle. Obviously, everybody paying attention. So what's happening here? Five, four, three, two, one. And the pole position. And the pole position goes to Team 54, Team Texas Express in the Ghost Rolls Royce. Owen is one of the first uh, receivers of the new sticker, and it's on his head. <laughs> nice. It's a good thing we've got a lot of them. Good morning. We're at the Hard Rock Cafe Edinburgh. We've got the bagpipes. It's briefing time. Let's head on in. Go prepare to get this rally started. First of all, welcome to Edinburgh and the 24th annual Gumball 3000 Rally. Yeah. Yeah. You know, those of you that have done this many times before, you'll know it's a road trip. We got all kinds of cars on there. We got, you know, incredible hypercars that can go three, four times the speed limit, and we've got other people driving in uh, in classic old cars, American cars, Rolls Royces, Bentleys. You know, some doing it in luxury, some doing it in pain. You know, uh, it's all about getting there safely and having a great adventure together. And I really mean that. I really want, you know, the most important thing for me to make this event a successful week is that we all get to the finish line safely. All right, let's have a fantastic week. I'm on the rally too in the Jag XJ220. Also got the uh, Ferrari 8, 812 in blue with my wife, Eve, over here. Um, See us on the road, text, whatever. We've got fantastic crew and staff. I want to thank all the Gumball staff. Give them a, a cheer, please, because they work their asses off. We've also got a lot of media teams on the rally too, as you'll see, filming for their own channels, filming for different networks, filming for Gumball channels. And let's have a great week, okay? Yeah. I'll see you on the road. Thank you. Everybody is gathering. We've got Dallas Austin, we've got Michael Dapper, we've got Typical Gamer, DDE, JWW, Matt Armstrong, we've got loads of people joining the rally. Max, Eve, everybody, you name it. How are you? Are you ready? 
down in the double, baby. Let's go. 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 We love you. This is insane, mate. This is insane. Ready? This is like this is like a childhood dream coming true. You have no idea how crazy this event is. It's bizarre. It's just nuts, isn't it? It is absolutely nuts, and I love every second of it. What are you in? I am in uh, the center, and hey, I don't even know how to start it. So it's going to be interesting. This is it. The cars are going to begin. The Rolls Royce Ghost engines. is going to kick things off. But do you know what? We've got some T-shirts here. Who wants a T-shirt? Come on, guys. What about this side? Who wants a T-shirt? Let's, hear, let's make some noise for these guys. <laughs> let's get some of these out there. Anybody over here? <laughs> oh, straight over the top. <laughs> let's get, come on. <laughs> Let's Make do this. The first car out on the grid. Team Bruce Texas the Express the are rolling. Today. Have fun, guys. We are ready. Scotland, as the cars go round, we need you to make some noise. Give it up. Put some hands in the air. Show them. The first car off the grid, Team Texas Express. Unbelievable effort as they make their way down the grid. I feel a little bit bad for popping this off in front of them, but hey, it's all in the fun of Gumball 3000. Right, we're going to see all the cars now. We'll highlight some of the cars coming through, and then it's Gumball 3000. It's underway now. It's officially on. <laughs> This is what it's about. Atmosphere is eclectic. This car looks amazing. I've yet to drive one, but cannot wait until I manage to get behind the wheel of a new GT3 RS. Sounds good. Look at that thing. Absolutely enormous for every bit of the parts as it comes down a Gumball 3000 grid. I think it's one of the coolest cars still to this day, and the livery suits it so well. Mark McCann has his SVJ with rally lights, with a roof box, with a crazy exhaust. This thing, the rock box, is absolutely filthy. Doors up, looking mega, and of course ready to make a scene on this year's Gumball. I should turn around though, because we have the stunning Lamborghini Countach, the car that we went out with the other day. It is here, it is ready. They are going to have a whale of a time. Look at this. We have Mr. JWW driving in the Koenigsegg Regera, heading out with this car today. Team 14, lovely color scheme. The blue over the orange leather interior. CDE launch control off the start line. <laughs> That's loud, really loud. It's all happening at once. Let's hope he can make it with us. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Not one Bugatti Chiron, but two Bugatti Chirons on the start line here, coming through together. It is time. Let's start this up. Here we go. Okay, we don't want to miss the. Uh, start just because we weren't quite ready so we're out we're rolling up it's start time here in edinburgh in the zenvo hi everyone <laughs> this is all around madness to be here see you later guys wow the crew are absolute stars with everything they do through here we'll go around that little bump hey everyone oh we've waited until the end We've seen all the cars out. We're going to get our little moment when we get to the front as well. Make a cool photo, but uh, through we roll up to the start. And look at this. Look at the excitement of this. The grid, the checkpoint, the craziness. Shmi loves Edinburgh. Edinburgh, do we love Shmi? Thank you, everyone. Shmi, thank you very much, sir. I will see you in London. <laughs> see you there. Right. We are going through. Okie dokie. And we have the support. Vehicle. And we're going to hop out just up here to go amazing. and uh, this is, this is get amazing. ourselves the shots. So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's craziness, madness. That's the end of the grid. It's time for us to hop in and head onwards to Ripley Castle, onwards to London. Thank you, everyone. Woo! All right, let's go. Here we go, look at this as we head off George Street, past the crowds, we are basically the last cars here. 
as we make our way out. Woo! <laughs> Do some high fives. <laughs> Gumball is officially underway. As we go down these lovely, lovely roads, I'm gonna pop the gearbox into race mode. So the thing with this car is that it's so astonishingly fast. If I slow it down for a second, down into second gear, open road here, just to do a small acceleration. It's ludicrous. It's frankly ludicrous. I can't hold my foot in it and I can't, I mean, we're in the UK on these kind of roads. I mean, it's a lovely road, don't get me wrong, but it's so fast. The noise of the supercharger, just, you have to short shift just because it builds up immensely quickly and I did actually take this car for a run on the Autobahn and my word it's it's another like category of car but I didn't make a video one day I will take it to the Autobahn and show you exactly what it's like when you really do go through all of the gears this is a very pleasant surprise look who we have found turbo transport Tony of course brought this up and is part of our mission effort to get back home again <laughs> how funny is that I say to get back home, to get all of these cars on the road around Europe, the whole adventure. We are very close to the checkpoint now, um, trying to find some fuel because we are particularly low, so we'll solve that problem first. Oh, this is crazy. Anybody who hasn't been here has missed out this and has missed out on these people being able to see the cars. Hi there. Thank you. Hey guys. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. I think this is literally a stop and go. No, maybe we pull in for five seconds. We must have five seconds. Matt Armstrong is here. The Urus is here. Let's, let's do this really quickly. We've got another Gumball car with us. The Viper Green GT3. Slowing down a moment as it comes through. It's looking good, guys. Looking very good. Flat six. Oh, that was nice. The sound of that through the tunnel was very, very nice. Well, look over here. We've got Mr. McCann in the SVJ, and I'm gonna do my best to try and get over that way. We're, we're the opposite side at the moment. Skip some lanes. This is pretty cool. Across the bridge. That view all around us in both directions. London by night, we're in the center of the big city. We're kind of in the middle of the lane because we've lost the pink van. London Eye over that way. Loads of famous buildings around us. I mean, this is, yeah, Vauxhall Bridge we're crossing over into Vauxhall. This is getting very crazy. It's dark, of course. There are lots of people around. That's the power station. This is the crowd um, because it's night. Hey, uh, <laughs> Okay, this is pretty wild. We're gonna drive straight through, keep moving. Get out the way, guys. This isn't just stop oil, move out of the way. <laughs> oh, there we go, there's the STO. DS1, obviously Mark is behind us. I guess we're probably about to turn right up here. This is pretty mad right now. I mean, admittedly, we're in traffic. There's a car in front that's not going anywhere. But um, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just gonna keep the windows closed for the moment until we've been able to kind of drive through the grid a little bit until we've got somewhere a little, little bit calmer. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know how this works. What's happening in front of us? This is strange. Back. Well, this is chaos. Move back. Move in a very back. funny way. That's this has absolutely back. gone over the top. I, I have no words for this. The security guard was like, you tried to run me over. I'm like, I turned the engine off when you told me to, to try and turn around because I couldn't go anywhere. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There are literally people running after us. Hey, they're sprinting. That's, that. I mean, I, 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 right now, I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. I'm so confused by that. We're now parked up in the garage. In fact, Regera is just parking up there at the moment. Gumball cars everywhere. Everyone's a bit hot and tired after this day, but obviously we now have the SLS Black Series, day two's car. We're gonna be swapping out of the Zenvo. That's gonna be staying here in London because we're gonna drive over to Amsterdam in the Netherlands 
tomorrow in the SLS Black Series, car two of my six car escapade. I bought the SLS Black Series back in early 2020. We all know what happened as it got to spring 2020, which meant that Gumball 3000 that year sadly never happened. The intention had been to take this out to the US to drive it on the rally. Unfortunately, of course it couldn't, but finally this car is getting its Gumball duck broken. It is an absolute monster. 6.2 V8, tons of power, lovely, very dynamic GT, sounds phenomenal. In fact, let me just Kick, I love climbing in through those doors. Kickstart this. That deep grumble. Anyway, lots of grumble cars have departed. We need to get on the road. So let's get moving down towards the Eurotunnel out of London. Always quite fun on Gumball. Pretty much every bridge has people waiting across it to see the Gumball cars coming through. We've just had an SF90 going. We've also had an 812 going. People, um, Enjoying the roads, we could say. Oh look, there's a schmoo. Schmoo is on Gumball. In fact, multiple schmoos are actually on Gumball because as well as Team 27 rocking Mr. Schmoo, we have Schmoo the Cow here with us as well. <laughs> no holding back. Well, we're arriving, the exit for the Channel Tunnel. This has been a very civilized rundown. That's cool, there's a lot of people waiting up there. Let's pop it into neutral. Gotta do what you gotta do. We're doing it in style, so they've waved all of the gumball cars together. We've got the Urus in front of us. We've got a whole line behind, in fact, of gumball cars snaking down. The things you don't see on an adventure like this are that Brad has just been editing. Owen is working away at stuff as well. I now have a USB stick that has the video you've already seen on it. Oh, we've just come out. We're now on the French side. Um, we now have to deal with tethering, laptop uploading, and getting the videos online, which is all quite fun and entertaining. This is actually a cool compartment with the four gumball cars that we have here. Just like magic, we're out into the French sunshine this time. We'll go straight to the petrol station that we know is just on the exit from the Euro Tunnel, and then just brim up the tank so we've got a long leg ahead of us. The van needs some fuel as well. Obviously, each of my cars starts the days respectively with a full tank. We have caught up again with Mark McCann. We were driving with them obviously yesterday. Right, let's um, give them an earful. <laughs> What's happened here? What's happened here? We've got some police. Uh-oh. Hurricane spider. Naughty, naughty, what did they do? I hope they're not in too much trouble. Okay, okay, the chaos is, is beginning. The chaos is beginning. How do we get, somebody did a proper button. Hiya, fist bump. <laughs> okay, someone did a big burnout. <laughs> How's it going, how's it going, how's it going, how's it going? How's everyone doing? We got some stuff. Who wants a t-shirt? Come on, guys. This way is pretty good. This way is... <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I know we're just parading at a slow speed right now, but the way the police bikes are like closing off every different junction and exit and things, and we can just skip on through and make some progress quickly to the next square. <laughs> Look at this as we go out into the grid here. from the lunch destination of the cars arriving down here. Mercy, that lovely yellow SVJ. Look at this, look at this, it's crazy. This has been absolute carnage. Mr. Gumball is now in the 812 super fast. That's heading off. We're about to depart with the SLS, DDE here as well. We've got, <laughs> come on guys. <laughs> I see you, Bruges is awesome. Okay, <laughs> so. 
Uh, there are some cars still, we're not the last out, but we should probably get ready to go quite shortly. Um, I mean, what a place, right? Market Square, I think, here in Bruges, absolutely incredible. Green light. Saw that coming. Saw that coming. <laughs> We are making a little stop here at this particular petrol station because, as you might be about to see, wait for it, wait for it, there's something very bright viola bast lurking just there. Obviously, we're going to be driving together into Amsterdam this evening. That sounds awesome. That sounds really awesome. I always think it's amazing to see my own cars being driven. It might sound strange, but you get that different perspective of the car and what it's actually like on the road. I think judging by the number of people and loud cars that we must be roughly in the right area now. It's getting really, really busy. This is it. We've made it to the grid, the Amsterdam grid. We're here at last. Max is ahead of us. <laughs> this has been carnage. This has been absolute carnage, but we now roll on in. Oh, losing my voice. We've got to set one of these off. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Let's hear it. Come on, guys. That's what we like. Right. Anybody over here? Okay, that was, that was intense. That was very intense. But let's uh, try and make our way through here. Carefully does it. <laughs> we are now parked in the garage. Day two's car, the SLS Black Series. I can't believe I've driven a leg in that. And the car for tomorrow. More on that in just a second, because come and have a look this way. Feast your eyes into this part of the garage. The gumball cars, the colors, the skittles, the liveries, the wraps. Some we have not seen on the road. The GR Yaris, for example, haven't even seen that going anywhere. That's one of the craziest things with this. You have so many different cars that you're never going to see it all. You're never going to take in every single thing while you go from stop to stop. This has only been day two and what a day it has been. The crowds in Bruges and the Netherlands here in Amsterdam have been unbelievable. Belgium and the Netherlands turned up for Gumball 3000. Morning for what is day three now of this adventure. We're kicking straight into it. It's the longest drive yet at least a long 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 leg so we have jumped straight into the car gosh i can't even get my words out driving straight out of the garage gt black series turning right in front of us and we're getting on on the way we've got a checkpoint in france all the way down to switzerland it's literally something like 12 hours on the road today so uh let's get on with it let's make it happen let's head down to the alps and see where today takes us i have never been so terrified of cyclists as i am here it's often joked about by Brits coming to Amsterdam that the cyclists here are mad and it's definitely the case. I mean, look at that. I was just about to start moving and the cyclists just fly across in front. Let's just wait. Let's let them all go. And I tell you what, everyone's so young. There are lots and lots of young cyclists commuting in the morning. Must have a very young population in Amsterdam. Anyway, we're off. Let's make some progress on our drive down to the checkpoint in France. Welcome to Belgium. Oh, that's fast. That thing just gets moving. <laughs> Another day, a different combo. Oh, sweet. We're gonna fill up, well, the van has about five kilometers of range. It's somewhere behind us. We've got a bit more, but we're gonna fill this up anyway, just to give it a full tank while we're here, why not? Um, been going so gently that I barely consumed any fuel. But first time we'll have got out of the car in what, I wanna say three and a bit hours. So that's gonna be quite pleasant. Unfortunately, how busy it is, is not pleasant. We have decided to play a bit of fuel light roulette. Yeah, the van is currently showing two kilometers and have a look, two kilometers in there and uh, it's showing 11 kilometers to get to the fuel station. So yeah, this could be interesting. Um, we might have a breakdown and if we do, we're gonna have to get the SCO to get a fuel can and come and rescue us. So could be interesting. 
kilometer. It says one! <laughs> one kilometer. One kilometer. Eleven kilometers. Wish us luck. Fuel level low. Zero kilometers to empty. We've got 9.8. <laughs> right, the very gentle cruise to the fuel station, I think. The van has arrived. Both have been fueled. Unusual on the road problems. We've got a video to upload. We're trying to figure this out. And then we'll continue. With these, pink and white by the way, the matching pair, the reason we did the white wheels on the MSRT Transit was to match the STO. We've now got them together, it is another beautiful day, blue to full even, very blue skies. As soon as Brad has that for me, we're good to go. You said I should have kept rolling because I'll have it in two seconds. Boom, magic, right, let's hop in the car and continue. <laughs> It's Sam, seen through glass, STG. I wonder what he's transporting in France. No idea. That must be Sam's truck. Does everyone have an STO today? <laughs> the sign says, welcome to Aubrive. Bienvenue à Aubrive. We've just parked in a rather lovely line of gumball cars. How scenic is this? What a nice place to be with all of these brightly coloured skittles everywhere. It's a little bit of that difference between the architecture that's behind us and the cars that we've just driven in with. It's time to make a move. We've got the 812s. We're out as well. Off we go. Next stop, Switzerland. We'll probably have a checkpoint before along the way. We've also got a video to upload, some editing to figure out, pictures to do, all the social media stuff because we're trying to share everything with you guys as fast and as quickly as we can so you can see what's going on, so you can be as part of as much a part of this journey as possible. Incoming pack of cars. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> and another Ferrari. And off we go. That is a view and a half as we now come into some roadworks. Oh, and there's a Gumball Range Rover. You can't quite see, but up ahead of us. The view, regardless, is unreal. As I've kind of gone the wrong side, we can't see too much of it. But that is mega. What a place. I think there's a police checkpoint just here. There is a police checkpoint. And that's Team Trill. And a whole lot of teams. Oh my goodness. F12, Roma. Defender, multiple police cars. I hope it's all good. I don't know. I think just checking documents, probably, hopefully. In theory, right around here somewhere, there it is, my 675 LT Spider. <laughs> I love how this works out. Hello. Hello. Let's go to the grid. Look how many people are braving this weather. So cool. Respect to everyone. Let's give some uh, first gear just as a thanks. And that's all we can do. It's Switzerland, 80 kilometers per hour. <laughs> we are in a bit, hey, it's a schmoo. <laughs> Did you see that? There was a schmoo there. That's so cool. We're in a bit of a procession up the hill. <laughs> awesome. What a legend. I love that you guys have been bringing out your schmooze to the rally. That's so cool. This is the beautiful town of Verbier then. You can very instantly tell that we are in the Alps. There should be a grid, I think, up at the hotel. Um, unfortunately, it's so cloudy and drizzly that we don't quite have the views of the mountains from up here that I'd have loved to have been able to share with you guys. Uh, but this is the town center. Okay, that's busier than I thought it was gonna be, looking straight up the high street. It's quite funny actually being here when there isn't like snow on the ground. It's a very different time of year. But we're here, we're arriving into town. I can hear the music, I can feel the vibes. This is Verbier, Switzerland. We are here with the STO and the LT. <laughs> Stickers for anybody. <laughs> Let us drive a little bit through the crowd here and try and make our way up the hill. It is quite busy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? How's it going, guys? Woo! Hey, 
How's everyone doing? That's all we like to hear. We are down in the dungeon, you could say, the bottom of an underground garage waiting for other gumballers to arrive. But for the time being, the two cars parked side by side, today's car alongside tomorrow's car. It's crazy to say that. Obviously, we've also got the van here. We're going to take that upstairs very shortly, our support vehicle with everybody, because it's got all of our luggage in it. But today has been a long drive, over a thousand kilometers, over 650 miles. Like I said, not the best car for the purpose, perhaps. And obviously, with that weather at the end, it's taken away from the bit that should be really mega, the bit that this was all about. But I tell you what, if it was raining today, and if that means it's dry tomorrow, that's gonna be insane. We're now halfway through Gumball 3000. We've had actually though, the longest of the legs. It's gonna get shorter from here on, which we all need because we're absolutely exhausted already. But this is the thing with Gumball, meeting all of you guys, seeing some spectacular places, just going to random things that you never knew existed or that you never knew that you could find on a journey like this. It is going to get busy up here very quickly. They've recommended we all leave together. We're going to have these cars in a bit of a parade. We've got the trio of the green Lambos up here. We've got the Sian, which we knew was going to be on the rally. I've been waiting to see it. We've got the Chiron Persport. These cars are just crazy. Mr. Gumball is now driving in the 812. His XJT20S that he used for the first leg is now safely back at my garage, the Schmuseum, Team Skookum. We've got all of the foundation cars. In fact, here are the cars that raised the most for the Gumball 3000 Foundation. The top 10 cars, if you will, that departed first from the grid in Edinburgh the others are all in the garage but we've actually managed today for the first time on this rally squeezed all of our luggage into here because the LT has quite a decent amount of storage space I've been looking forward to driving this thing on the rally I've owned it now for about seven years the paintwork is looking stunning in the sunshine of course it's been transported up with Tony Turbo Transport who will now take the STO which is in the underground garage down below to take that onwards to drop it off ready to go back home and then go and collect the car that we're going to drive tomorrow but this is ready which is waiting for everybody to be here, for the team guys to get back up the hill. They're doing some photos with our Transit MSRT down on the hill road at the moment. And then look at this, beautiful day up in the mountains, much nicer than it was last night. The Gumball car is looking phenomenally on point and the LT ready for a run this morning. It's time to roll out, off we go. Alrighty, we're heading down the hill. We will buzz Tony out in front of us. Tony, ready for you to go. Should be able to make it, yep, nice one. So, let's do this. <laughs> LT whips and snaps back in action. From here, we have three and a half hours to Lake Como to our checkpoint, which is actually the other side of Lake Como. So it's quite a long, like extra hour, hour and a half diversion to go there. But I believe in going to every checkpoint, every stop of the rally. So that's what we're gonna do if we can today in this. The STO will peel off at some point. We'll make it all the way over towards Venice in this, and it should hopefully all go to plan. When you stop for some fuel and a filming opportunity, as gumballers blast by, look at this in the mountains, beautiful. Team Relic. Oh, that sounded like a beastly machine. And we've got our van. Off we go. Gumball is on the go. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> And like that. And like that. And like this. Welcome to beautiful Lake Como, Lago di Como, just south of the Italian Alps. Absolutely stunning scenery, tiny narrow roads. Not exactly the easiest place to drive around. Thankfully, we're on a nice clear stretch at the moment, but you get these moments where it just gets really, really narrow. And there are lots of supercars coming up here today and obviously lots of fans and things as well. As lunch spots go, how about this for a view? Not exactly bad, hey? Out over the lake and we're literally here at this greenhouse for our lunch. With that, <laughs> that view, what a beautiful day. I kinda wanna go grab a boat and go out for a little ride. <laughs> 
Look at this, what a place. Behind the media car, double Chirons. Then we have the Sian, the Chiron Plus 4 leading the pack. Then the other Chiron, SVJ, Sian, SVJ, SVJ, STO. You're here, you made it. <laughs> Check that out, look at that thing. Lamborghini Sian, one of 63. Sian Coupes. This was the FKP 63, the launch spec, those bronze wheels against the satin green paintwork. That's a very familiar sound. Well, by coincidence, we found the noisy guys. And by that, I mean multiple YouTubers with SVJs. <laughs> It's that time of day again. We are of course here with 675 and with the MSRT and as if by magic, boom, Tony's arrived with the SF90 ready for tomorrow. The car of course transported by Unique as we loaded it up. It's been brought out, left with D factory. Tony dropped off the STO. Mark's just making a flyby as he often does with that SPJ. <laughs> um, it's been at D factory. Tony's picked it up from them, brought it over here for the last little run from here to Venice. We should probably jump in all the cars and get out of here and get on the road because it's the last stop and we're arriving earlier for once which was which is genuinely amazing right let's right hand drive let's go i guess that's the official entrance to venice would have loved to have put a sticker on there we've got people here waiting for us it's great to have arrived at last. Welcome to Venice. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> how's everyone doing? It's good. We've parked up then here in the port in Venice. We have the cars lined up, just getting out the last few things and take a look around here. It's very rare to have pretty much the entire Gumball grid all in one place like this. We're gonna catch a water taxi to the hotel ahead of tonight's masquerade ball. Off we go. Out over the water. Venice life. It's all good, Tony. You guys are really cozy. Because there was once, like about 10-15 years ago, there was a plane that took the van off the end. I guess he, he's the one who edits and chooses if it goes in the movie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. If you've seen this, it's made the car. Cheers, Brad. We're going to be overtaken by this other boat. We're carrying too much weight. We're going to have to throw off some ballast. We're losing the boat race. Who's the, who's the least important of your team? We need to kick off some extra... Tony out! <laughs> Venice is over there. Our hotel is here, and it's basically a drive-through <coughs> with the boats to get dropped off at the hotel front door so we can unload. That's really quite cool actually, isn't it? What an unusual arrival experience at a hotel. By water taxi, ready to be unloaded and go inside. Hotel lobby right in front of us. One taxi boat at a time. In we go to the Masquerade Ball in Venice. Better late than never. Good morning from Venice. This is where Team 150 have been staying. Um, obviously Tim and Puppy have been over at the JW Marriott. It's on this island and we are over here on Giudecca, I believe it's called, in a lovely little hotel with some lovely views and obviously all the canals directly next to us which is very very cool and now we're going to jump on the boat head back over to the MSRT Transit and the SF90 and then go on our way over to Lubi Lub okay I'm going to butcher this Ljubljana Ljubljana Castle in Slovenia hopefully that's how you say it and obviously on to Budapest later on and we're leaving the hotel heading back out on a water taxi Look at this place, absolutely lovely. Not bad. And obviously I'm with these two. <laughs> We're off. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a proof there. Thanks. You enjoyed yourself though. As everyone knows, you love boats. 
Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, loving it. Nice way to wake up. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I am looking forward to driving this on the rally. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of my SF90 Stradale. In just over a year, I've driven eight and a bit thousand miles with the 1,000 horsepower hybrid Ferrari. But let's come on through, take a look around. Mark is getting ready with the SVJ, all the different skittles of the cars lining up to set off on today's route. And this is probably the most cars I've seen in the sunshine parked together at any point during the rally so far, DDE and the Mercy just over there. We've got all of the different supercars around. If we come through this way, we've got one of the Bugatti Chirons, we've got the Lamborghini Sian, and behind that is the Chiron Pursepore. But very shortly, we will see some of the cars getting moving. We will join the flow out of here to hit the road towards Slovenia for today. It's time, LT started. This has technically started, but I am gonna get the engine running. Yeah, both of these cars actually have quite similar combustion engines. <laughs> Tony's putting the roof down. That'll be fun. SF90 Stradale on Gumball 3000. Little bit of a tunnel. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> I'm confused. Um, oh, we're driving past the van. The roundabout. There we go. SVJ. <laughs> that sounds amazing. What's going on right now? SF90, police car. The Chiron is just in front, but he's kind of blocking the road because now the general traffic can't get through. Obviously, some of the cars are filling up, uh, but we just, just got to go with the flow and see what happens. Finally, back with us the flash of pink of the pink van and the LT arriving here to get them quickly filled up. And then, once they're filled up, we will be able to continue onwards to the castle. The whole way up the hill here. There's the crowd lining the side of the streets. And the whole way, Mr. Pog is on the top of his car, <laughs> which is mad. Hi there, how's it going? Yo, no worries. Yeah. Thank you, man. Perfect. We've got Mr. Gumball and Eve coming down. Well, we're stuck trying to go up. <laughs> Look at this. The crowd here is crazy. The crowd here is absolutely crazy. This is an amazing grid. This is what you think of when you think Gumball 3000. Like, you're a rock star when you're on this rally. You're an absolute rock star. I mean, if I jump out again for a second, oh, park brake definitely should be on. We are on a hill here after all. Let's just jump out and hand some stickers to people and see where we end up. How you all doing, guys? Sneaker! Stickers! Woo! That's fun. Send me a DM with a pic when it's on the... Thank you. from a rally car. Cool. Thank you so much. On a helmet is good fun. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Everybody get the phones ready. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> get the shots. I'll move up the line. It's quick. Nice. I like this. You guys are good. You guys have this sorted. <laughs> this is the most efficient selfies. The most efficient selfies literally of my life. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> well, take a look at this. The view that we have for today's lunch stop with a breathtaking view over Ljubljana. Look at this view over the city down there. That's pretty incredible, really, isn't it? The cars in the sunshine are looking pretty good, it has to be said. DDE, Pog. Is Mark McCann just there as well? No, I think he's gone he was here or he's there tucked in around the corner in my blind spot i still love that gt3 rs as well I need to get behind the wheel of one of those before long but it looks like we've got a bit of a troop for the parade back down the hill i can see the pink van behind the crowd as well and we are going to make our way 
for the start of this next adventure onwards to Budapest. And there's a bug chilling on my window, just here. <laughs> right, out we head. Sweet. Thank you guys. Hey. <laughs> this is when we get the shots. Chiron flanked by two blue Ferraris. <laughs> we're, in, we're in a traffic jam. Hold your horses. Oh, this thing is fast. <laughs> that is ridiculous. This is now country number 10. Welcome to Hungary. We started in Scotland. We went through England, France, Belgium, Netherlands, back into Belgium, Luxembourg, back into France, Switzerland, Italy, Slovenia, and now Hungary. 10 countries, and we've still got more to go. Anyway, we're quite excited because we know that there's gonna be a pretty mega grid arrival later on. Two hours to go, bring on Budapest. Spotted on fast approach. Check this out, wait for it. Whoa! <laughs> well, that was loud. In theory then, and I know this is getting very cliched because we've done it quite a few times now, when we pull in here, past that nasty bump, look what we've got there. One AMG GT Black Series, stick it up, ready to roll with Tony Turbo Transport and also with Nick from Unique, who's been responsible for driving the Transporter with all of these cars across Europe. We're gonna just chill out for one second because we've kind of left the van behind us. And when it gets here, it's the last leg for today, the last 20 minutes or so, in towards Budapest. We've made our own little way through here. <laughs> it's all just absolutely crazy. Budapest has turned up. Look at this. We've got a whole load of stickers here, so let me start handing out some more stickers. We've not given out as many stickers on one day ever before. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I think we finally made it through. Uh, we made it through this part of the crowd. Oh my goodness, that's yeah, crazy. Good How's everyone doing? So I'm running around too fast. This is absolutely wild. I do not know what to say. This is chaos. <laughs> like, amazing. So, the blue t-shirts need one thing. We have an icon. We have a stone cold legend. We have someone doing something that has never been seen before in Gumball 3000 history. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the one, the only, the icon, We still got another one. We have to say, Jess, put a person in your screen. That's the end of day five. Tomorrow, day six, with the GT Black Series, we made it. It's here. It's actually here. The six cars, one rally, ready to start. We've still got to complete the final day to make it to the finish line of the 2023 Gumball 3000. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Love it. Right, we're in the tunnel. Movie time. Uh, not movie time. Tunnel time. Tunnel time. Tunnel time. <laughs> 
We're here on the grid in Budapest, Hungary. We've been driving all the way from Edinburgh, Scotland, and today we go to Montenegro, driving in the sixth and final Schmiemobil. My AMG GT Black Series is here. Our plan has been successful. We've swapped cars on the grid every single night, and today, as you can tell, we're getting started early. Most of the gumballers are still here because this is going to be a long one to the finish line. Our friends from Team 27 have Schmoo on the dashboard, their co-pilot to join them for the route today as well. This is about as spectacular as a tunnel entrance could ever be, but I'm not going to lie about it. I'm far too exhausted to give it the beans first thing in the morning, not to mention cold car because we've literally just pulled out of the grid. We've caught up with somebody and it happens to be Mr. Mark McCann in the SVJ. We've driven with those guys quite a few times actually during this rally, which is an awful lot of fun. Rocking the roof box over the top of that crazy, crazy, crazy thing and the rally lights and everything. So much effort to set it all up. And I think everybody on the rally appreciates that. That was cool. Flames from the SVJ. Two kilometers in the tank, 9.7 to the fuel station. We are playing Fuel Light Roulette once again <laughs> for the second time in this movie. Um, we've probably played it a few more times without showing it, but this is going to be probably the closest one yet. I believe in the man. We've also got some Gumball team cars just up ahead of us as we are cruising on down, hopefully to get fuel before we run out. And uh, we've made it, Go. just about. Well, we've just left the main motorway. You could say we have split from the main motorway onto the second motorway, which heads literally to split. Yeah, bad joke, I know, I know. That's where our checkpoint is today. A puppy movie special on the windscreen of the car. You find nature. <laughs> Squished. Well, I'm in the passenger seat right now, and I'm stepping out on a Croatian motorway. Yes, we've left a little gap because we're here with the van. Brad's on the roof, <laughs> it's in the back. We're not really going anywhere, everyone's getting out. A little bit of a, they, they've got a Shmi flag on the car behind. In fact, there's more gumball cars back there. Quite a few in the traffic jam. None of us are going anywhere. It's very static. There's an accident a bit ahead of us. This is something that's probably never gonna ever happen again or be able to happen again. 3 on 50 team sticker. Croatian motorway, central reservation barrier. I don't think we can ever do this again. That is now there forever. I'm stealing my scooter. This is a jacking on the Croatian no, hijacked. motorways. No, hijacked. Scooter jack. Scooter jack. Hijacked on the motorway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to die on the Croatian motorway. Gumballers incoming. Hurricane Evo Spider, Turbo S Cab. Turn of run, ready? Three, two, one. No! No! He's gonna fall! <laughs> <laughs> This is it. Welcome to the Gumball Grid and Split, where we have some very squeaky brakes now on the AMG GT Black Series. That's quite fun. He knew which car we were coming from. How you doing? <laughs> nice one. Okay, let's go through. Gumball cars that are already in. This grid has quickly got really quite exciting. Look, we've got the flares going off here from Harry Panero's car. We've got the Hurricane Technica coming in. We've just had confetti cannons going up. V10's always down. Who knows what my first car was? Vino Cleo. He's got it! <laughs> no, 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 that's for him, that's for him. Right, out we roll then. The van should be somewhere around this end, I believe, with the Gumball team cars. This must be the way we go. I can't see any other way from here. Yes, there we go. 
we have our support van. Check this out, how cool is this? What a place to be. Pops and bangs, wait for the guys behind. Obviously the, uh, the MSRT van is not best suited to driving twisty passes. That's where um, supercars are gonna kind of leave it a little bit of a dead. So if I keep running away, I mean, they'll catch up eventually, right? Look at this, look at the way it just snakes up through the hills. That's really cool. We're making the most of this opportunity to take some really cool photos. We've actually been across this bridge already a couple of times. A bunch of other gumballers have just gone past. Uh, behind me is obviously the SVJ, and then we've got the van behind that. So yeah, look at this. Brand new bridge, beautiful weather, sun glaring off the sea out there. This is spectacular. There's good news and there's bad news. Bad news first, traffic jam. The good news is that um, we're at the border. I am being absolutely blinded by my own light, but this is Montenegro. It's taken us, I wanna say an hour and a half to get through the two borders, leaving Croatia and then entering Montenegro. But now we have a short run down to the ferry to then cross in the dark, sadly it's dark, before we arrive in the harbour. But hey, this was the only way we could do it. A lot more cars than they're used to at that border crossing in an evening. And yeah, it's life. It's part and parcel of the fun. This has all quickly descended into some kind of chaos to be expected, but I think we're gonna be able to go on. We are literally at the very back. So if I can squeeze through, then we'll be able to get the Aventador and the van on we need to be properly squeezed in here to the side to make sure that this is going to work. I think like that. I've just got out of the car and we're already moving. They don't mess around at all. Literally, put the back up. We're sailing across the other side on a ferry full of gobble cars. I don't know how many, but I would not want this ferry to sink right now. There are definitely a couple of million pounds worth of supercars on here at the moment. No quicker than we've just got on, we're already getting off. That happened very, very, very fast. This is it. Oh, check this out with the digital screens. And what we're about to witness is going to be really cool with that. Like really cool. And what Mark actually has planned here. This has never been done on Gumball before. The table, the Lambo, all of this lovely fine stuff at the table. Filming also for the uh, couple socials here as well, in the rain. I don't know why we're doing this, but we are. <laughs> okay, that's going to be really loud. Whoa! Whoa! It worked! It actually worked! <laughs> Here we go, through the finish line. This is literally it. We are through. The table is, of course, in the way. Should I give it a gentle nudge? Can we make some noise? One, the only, Do you know what? This has been an absolutely epic gumball. Thank you to everyone who's here at the finish line. We've been through so much. We've made this even more complicated by swapping cars every single day, a different car for each leg of this Gumball 3000. But you know what? The fans along the way have been amazing. The Gumballers have been amazing. You guys have been amazing. All of the team, all of the crew, Max, everyone from Gumball has made this the most epic of epic rallies. We're out. It's done. 2023 Gumball 3000. Edinburgh to Porto Montenegro. The rally of a lifetime. What an epic, epic, epic adventure. That's it, the end of the grid. It's time to go and get parked up to roll out and head onwards to the hotel for tonight. The end of the 2023 Gumball 3000. That is absolutely insane. The morning after arrival here in Montenegro, of course, surrounded by the yachts that we can now see. There are some lovely, lovely floating mansions right here. It was raining earlier, not necessarily the weather we expected. After sunshine at the start in Scotland, we've now got rain at this end. But as you can probably tell, we, and the guys are still cracking on, have been removing 
the stickers. So the end of the rally, fully stripping them all back, basically getting some corners and just peeling them off. Obviously the car has full PPF, so they come off with the warmth that we have now, pretty simply. In the rain last night, we made a start and it was an absolute nightmare. So I gave up on that one very quickly. Loads of little bits of text, but this is preparing it for what actually is gonna be happening next with this car, which is an onward voyage. Um, the journey is gonna be continuing, home ball, if you will, from here onwards. But uh, we're gonna crack on with this. Then we're gonna head over for the Gumball Awards. There's a lot of stuff going on over there as well. And then after that, it's, uh, it's gonna be time to wrap up this year's Gumball Rally. We're trying to get to the awards. We're very stuck. Tony's gone to figure out what's going on, but basically no traffic moving at all. All right, let's go. We've got 10 awards to present tonight, building up to the coveted Spirit of Gumball Trophy. I mean, I don't even say who this goes to because it's a pretty organic one. It actually goes to the Pole Position Award. So Pole Position guys, can I have you up here on stage, please? Team Texas Express, car number 54 in the Rolls-Royce Ghost. The next award is the Rookie Team Award, the Rookie Award. This award goes to team number 82, the Lamborghini Murcielago, now known as Team Swedish Fish. All right, so the next award goes to the best car wrap. You know, every year, the last sort of uh, two decades or more, every year you turn up with these incredible cars and have some even more impressive liveries on top of those cars. And this one goes to a pretty, really cool car that stood out everywhere on the grid to me. It's team number 101, the Porsche 992 GT3 RS. They had the incredible teeth on the front. The next award, the best car. This was a fan favorite. You know which one it's gonna be. It's team 11, it's DD's SVJ. It was the best car this year. The Against All Odds Award. This goes to the team that probably a bit like DDE shouldn't have made it to the finish line. All right, this award goes to team number one, one, one. Michael and Nicole Kelly, they started this rally in, what was it, a Ferrari F8 that basically didn't even get to London. And then we got an A12, which was badass. And we drove that for two days. And then, wasn't gonna cross the border, paper didn't work. So we got a... Ferrari Portofino. And we finished the rally. So here we are, this is the Baller Award, presented by Zeus from Tape London. This goes to the guys that have kind of like balled out every night at the clubs, at the parties. They've just gone kind of crazy every day and had a lot of fun. Part of a big team, so I don't know who's going to come up here, but team really goes to team 18 in the Rolls Royce Wraith, JC, GC, Giancarlo and Saeed, the Style Award. A lot of very stylish people on this gumball this year, as always. All right, the Style Award the 24th gumball goes to Team Heather. This is Heather Porter and, and Heather Mills. And they're driving the Lamborghini Urus. Heather Porter's second gumball, Heather Mills' first gumball. And how stylish have these, be these guys been, especially at the Venetian Ball. They're very, very cool. Next award is the Gumball Ambassadors Award. It goes to team number 34. Gus and Linda Dopez. Yeah, Gus and Linda. We've got to say, this was the best gumball ever. Max hit it out of the park this year. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Here's the build up for the best team of the 24th Gumball 3000 Rally from Edinburgh to Porto Montenegro. It goes to collectively called Team Germany, teams 31, 63, 64, 65, and 66, led by Andreas, Marcus, and the Worth family, Hansworth. So this is it, this is the 24th Gumball, Spirit of Gumball Award. These guys actually, uh, they've actually already been up here 
because they've been special this week. It goes to team number 54 of Team Texas Express. Don't mess with Texas. One, two, three. Don't mess with Texas! Don't mess with Texas. All right, once again, well done, guys. It's been incredible. I know there's been lots of rumors this week where the 25th anniversary rally is going. Can you believe it is 25 years of Gumball next year? 25 incredible years. It's going to start with a concert and car show, incredible event underneath the pyramids in Egypt, in Cairo. We're going to drive across Egypt. We're going to go up into Jordan, to Petra, up into Amman. And then we're going to load all 120 cars onto cargo planes. And we're going to fly the whole Gumball Cavalcade to land in Bangkok. We have 24 hours in Bangkok for you guys to go crazy. And then from Bangkok, we're driving down through Thailand, Phuket, into Malaysia, to Langkawi, a little island. From Langkawi to KL to Kuala Lumpur to Sepang F1 circuit there. And then we're going to cross the finish line on the Friday of Singapore F1 race. From the pyramids to Singapore F1, the 25th Gumball 3000. Thank you. We've been for a bit of a drive, and by drive, look at this. Look at this view. The top of the Bay of Couture, Montenegro or Porto Montenegro down there where you can see the yachts. Nikki Beach just over to the left where the awards were. And we've driven up the Kotor Serpentine, the snake, up the hill, which I came to seven years ago. And I've been looking forward to coming back here ever since. Obviously now with the GT Black Series, back then it was with the 675LT, the FF, the GT4, and Schmark 150's BMW M2. I can't remember if we did put a sticker up here at the time, because of course, I think it, they've taken them away since. But whether we did or not, this is now officially been Team Shmi 150 would along with the other stickers that we have up here. Edinburgh to Porto Montenegro. Montenegro is where we are. We're here. That's down there. My goodness. It's quite cold up here. But this almost feels like an ending of the rally, looking down. This feels like a view you do not see every day. The next morning, the adventure comes to an end. What a Gumball 3000. Now completed my ninth Gumball rally. We've been to every checkpoint. We've driven six and arguably seven different cars throughout the entirety of this adventure. We're here in Montenegro. What a beautiful place. What a lovely morning it is today as we're preparing to, to depart, to start our journey back home. But we've brought you all the way along from the beginning, from prepping the cars, from loading them up, from transporting them out to a bit more behind the scenes, things like the castle in Edinburgh, the masquerade ball that we had in Venice, to understand a little bit more about what this rally is involved. I've always tried to bring you guys a full movie, a full summary of the entire thing, because there are very few words that put together really what this Gumball family is about, what this trip is about, what meeting all of you in the different cities is about, what the experience of basically being literally a rock star during this event. It's, it's hard to get your head around. And I wanted to do something new this year. I wanted to do it with the six different Shmeen wheels. We have pulled it off perfectly. Not a single thing has gone wrong from all of the customs paperwork that was done before, from all the transport by Hunique in the full trailer and Nick and Kyle over there for getting all of that arranged, from Tony traveling from city to city to make sure the cars are in the right place, from obviously driving the Zenbo all the way through, from obviously all the guys in our team as well, Owen on the photos, Brad helping with all of the editing, Puppy driving with me in whichever car we were in to get all of the photos, all of the media, all of the videos that you guys have seen throughout the way. Already millions and millions and millions of views on the different bits of content that we've been shooting during this Gumball 3000. When I first heard this route, that was always going to be the objective. We had this idea dating back about a decade to Clarkson and Hammond and the perfect road trip, and this idea of swapping cars day by day by day. But on a Gumball 3000, which is tough enough when you just drive the thing, to throw in another challenge like that, I can't believe we've managed it. I, 
I'm super pleased that we've been able to pull it off, to do something totally unique, to really go all in this year. We've had t-shirts, stickers, flags. We've had all of the cars. We've done all of the stops. We had all of the toll things prepared in advance. We had so much prepared and ready. We put in the time and my word being organized gave us the most fabulous experience, the most incredible end-to-end -end rally that you could possibly have culminating in now being here in Montenegro with the GT Black Series ready for my home ball adventure to continue and complete. But of course, it's not around the corner. It's a big trip in its own right. And we've got quite a few things planned along the way. But Gumball 3000, totally epic. It's a huge thanks from me to Max and all of the team at Gumball 3000, all of the crew, all of the grid stop crew, everybody who's been part of our journey, everybody who's made this so good. It's, it's something that's hard to describe. You know, the gumballers, the group of people, some friends that we've met through this event that will be friends for life, some people that we've only just met that I'm sure we're looking forward to driving with again in the future. Obviously, we say farewell as well to Team Skookum's 812 Superfast that's been resident at the Museum in recent times, but that will now return back to Canada. It was only staying with us between the Middle East Rally and coming out or starting in Edinburgh. But yeah, that's it. Gumball, as they say, 3,000 miles, 3,000 smiles. For us, six cars, one rally. We did it. Thank you very much, guys, for all of your support. Without you, none of this would be possible. I am hugely, hugely appreciative of everything that you guys do. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.